much. The MBTA getting some A's when it comes to reliability. And that prompted five investigates Mike Bodette to go underground into the subway system to see if there may be some great inflation going on here, Mike. That is the question. Riders and experts, they just don't buy it. And we found there is evidence to back up that doubt. The morning rush on the MBTA. Well, I just want to get to work at 9 o'clock in the morning. Jeff Whaley is navigating his way from South Boston to the Back Bay. Today, he picks the subway over the bus. Yeah, you know, I live two miles from where I work, and I have to leave an hour, hour and a half to get there. Whaley made the right choice. He arrives early, but his social media posts on Twitter show a frustrating pattern of problems. Yeah, you know, I can arrive anywhere from now, which is about 8, 28, 25, to 9, 15, 9, 30. And Whaley is skeptical when he goes to the MBTA performance dashboard and sees reliability scores higher than 90% on the red line. Today might be 92%. But uh, yesterday, 70%. The MBTA performance dashboard gives overall subway reliability 88% over the past month. The commuter rail scores 83%, and bus reliability lags behind with 66%. There's one guy who said, worst commute in a long time, and he's just like looking really sad. That was the red line. Five investigates teamed up with my Northeastern University journalism students to ride the rails and track passenger posts and hashtags on social media. MBTA problems, MBTA fail, MBTA life. Sometimes there are delays, sometimes it's smooth sailing. It's that not knowing if there's going to be a problem that's so frustrating for commuters who see the MBTA giving itself high marks. Definitely a rush hour. The red line is definitely not an, at 90% reliability. 17-year-old Miles Taylor has traveled every inch of the MBTA's subway lines. The five goes from McCormick Housing to City Point. Not to mention every bus route. He writes a blog called Miles on the MBTA and considers himself a T expert. It can be sketchy a lot of the time. It's not just riders wondering if the T is painting a rosy picture. Massburg recently released a report questioning the way the MBTA calculates reliability. That report called out the T, saying the MBTA measures reliability on the time passengers wait for the next subway to get to the station and does not factor in the overall travel time. Do you think those numbers are misleading? Um, I think that the way they're perceived by the public makes them seem misleading. 90% is an A, 90% looks good, it sounds good, and I think it's packaged as a good number. Laurel Paget seekins is Director of Strategic Operations at the MBTA. 90% doesn't mean an A on this measure. What does it mean to you when you see 90%? So 90% means that, what, that you know, one in 10 trips, someone could experience a delay, um, and that's something that um, needs to be improved, um, and that if you think about it, that's a lot of passengers. The unreliability haunts Jeff Whaley, twice a day, every day. I mean, I just, I just build in the extra time. The MBTA tells us it does measure travel time, is hoping to make that data easily accessible to the public on the performance dashboard. The T also surveys its customers about reliability. In the most recent survey, less than half, 49%, call it reliable. Coming up at 6, we check in with the riders stranded on the red line just yesterday. Mike Bodette, 5 Investigates. All right, Mike.